With so much at stake in the run to the finals, and the man that will be steering the ship for Brisbane is Adam Reynolds, and he joins us tonight on the show. Evening, Adam. How you going? Always very well, mate. So great to have you on the show. The team at the moment, around 13 by. Since then, three wins, two losses. Ahead of this match, the run towards the finals, seven rounds to go. How do you think your team's placed? Yeah, I think we're, we're pretty happy with where we're at. Obviously, the, the two losses are a bit of a hiccup, but um, we've addressed where we needed to get better and um, getting through that origin period is, is pretty important. Obviously, it gives some boys rest and um, to get some wins through that period is obviously very crucial. So happy to get all hands back on deck this weekend. Renee, you signed a three-year deal with the club. Now, when you signed with the club, they, they were in all sorts. They weren't in a good place at all. You've gone there after just, what, six or eight months You've turned it, not you, but the club has turned itself around. Did you envisage you'd have that much of an impact on the club straight away? Um, yeah, from playing them last year, yeah, I sort of knew there was, there was something there. Um, There's a lot of young talent at the club and it was sort of just lacking a bit of direction. There was no confidence in the group. And, um, you know, that's something that I've just tried to instill in the club is a bit of confidence and, and just give them a bit of direction with a game plan that, that suits our, our style of footy and... Um, the coaching staff have been fantastic as well. Uh, they've, they've played a major part in that. and um, Yeah, it's been an enjoyable season. And I'm going to wear a little bit of humble pie. Last year I was quite supportive of South Sydney and said that the one-year offer was fair and that you were coming towards the end of your career. <laughs> a little bit of egg on my face at the moment. But I just wanted to ask you your personal game and the way you're playing. Did you think that you could play the way you have this year, given that you know, you're heading towards the back end of your career? Yeah, I always knew there was a bit of upside uh, to my game, obviously. I had a key role to play there at South. I had a lot of, um, you know, experienced players in that team. Cody Walker, Latrell Mitchell, Damien Cook. Um, you know, those blokes. So I just needed to get them the ball. And um, in this team, I found myself in a bit a similar position, but obviously uh, with a lot of younger fellas around me. So obviously needed to stand up a bit more and take a bit more of ownership there. And, um, yeah, I'm loving my footy, mate. I've obviously enjoying uh, my first year here at the Bronx and obviously looking forward to getting better um, as the years go on. Adam, I was talking to you a couple of months ago, and away from the football, you said you were really enjoying life away from the game in Brisbane, that there was a lot less scrutiny and pressure and intensity up there. And you even said that the younger blokes in Brisbane enjoyed that environment compared to what you saw young blokes go through here in Sydney, where there is obviously intense pressure and scrutiny and competition. Can you just elaborate on that a little bit in your personal life, how good the move has been? It hasn't been good the last couple of weeks. Uh, Gus, obviously, with the Blues going down, it's been pretty tough up here. But, no, it's um, it's it's a wonderful place to bring your family up. Um, you know, I was down in Sydney and sort of the rat race there. Everyone's in a hurry to get places. Um, yeah, everything up here just seems to be flowing and flowing nicely. I've, I've settled in really nice. The kids are, um, you know, happy with their school they're at. The wife's happy. So that obviously plays a part into, you know, me being happy and playing some good footy. But... Just the rest of the, the boys in the squad. Um, it's pretty spread out, Brisbane, but it's pretty low key. Um, you know, in this, the big scale of things, everyone's not um, under the pump. So, as a team, mate, we're enjoying, um, you know, hanging around each other and spending a fair bit of time together. You were saying that these Brisbane Bronco players, and we can all see the immense athletic talent in some of these young fellas, but off the field too, they allow them to be young boys. They allow them to live their life and, and not be rushed through it where you thought in Sydney that there was intense pressure on a lot of the younger fellas here that didn't allow them to do that? Yeah, I'm not too sure if that's the, the club, Gus, or if that's um, just life in general up here. But uh, one thing I have noticed coming to this club, they, they understand um, the role of all the younger boys. They've obviously had a, a load of experience through that, through previous seasons and, and how to manage the young boys coming through. But like you said, they, they just allow, um, you know, the young boys to be young boys and obviously needed a few older faces at the club and, um, you know, myself and, and Capes, obviously Ryan James as well, um, you know, trying to play a part in, in bringing these young fellas along. Preparing to play against Parramatta this week, uh, we've seen the good Parramatta and we've seen the bad Parramatta. How do you assess what you're up against this weekend? Yeah, I think we just turn the attention back to ourselves. Uh, we know when we're at our best, uh, we're, we're a pretty tough side to beat. We like to play an extensive expensive style of footy and, um, you know, it's tough to defend against. But, yeah, back on Parramatta, they got a lot of blokes like Gutho, uh, Moses, that are, you know, very high energy rated players and uh, they've got a big forward pack. So, for us, we need to make sure we, we come with a defensive mindset and, and that we do it together.
And a chance to finish uh, the round in the top four as well. If a certain result can go your way, not just on Thursday. But, Adam, great to have you on the show. And we'll see you Thursday night at Parramatta. No worries. Cheers, Good thank on. you. Adam Reynolds, uh, the Broncos star, joining us uh, here on 100% Footy. This